Okay, so when all the files are already downloaded, we can start with the installation. Uh, basically, you can start with installation of VirtualBox right away because it takes a like, few seconds or minutes depending on your connection. Uh, so you can start with the virtual box already if you have that downloaded. So what we will do, I will double click on the virtual box installation file and I get the pop-up window. I'm currently on the window so this is why I will I will uh, I will have to get a permission uh, for this file to to install it or cha make changes to the computer. So I will hit run. And here is the uh, installation wizard. Basically, the VirtualBox installation is very intuitive. This is like standard installation on Windows where you hit next, 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 OK, and you are done. So here in the first step, uh, we get the welcome screen. So then we hit on, on the next. And we will choose on which uh, part uh, we, or which features we want to install. We will leave with, the, with all the defaults. So I will click on the next. And you can choose all the options, uh, whether you want to create a uh, start menu entry, you want to create a shortcut in the desktop or shortcut in a quick launch bar and register file associations. I will leave, uh, I will leave all these default checkboxes uh, which are checked. So I will hit on the next button and there is one warning uh, that during that installation uh, the network interface will be interrupted so in temporarily you may not have a connection to your network so uh, if you want to proceed with the installation now you will click on the yes and then click on the install When you will get a pop-up window with the window security where uh, Oracle wants to install their device software, we will uh, we will have to trust. Uh, we will click on the checkbox that always trusts software from Oracle Corporation and hit on install. Okay, and VirtualBox is already installed. So we can either choose to start the Oracle uh, virtual machine or virtual box right now, or we can uncheck this and hit on the finish. And right now our virtual box is already installed on our machine. Okay, and when you have virtual box already installed, you should also install the Oracle VirtualBox extension pack uh, which supports the connection between the your between your PC and VirtualBox software. So what you should do you can only double click uh, on the on that installation file and wait until the VirtualBox is being opened and you get the VirtualBox question to install or to upgrade. In my case, I already had installed uh, older version of extension pack. So what I will do, I will just upgrade. In your case, you will install it directly on your PC. So I will just hit upgrade and you should uh, go through the license agreement and hit agree if you agree with all the things or all the agreements that are mentioned here. So I hit agree and wait until uh, this installation is being processed. So I hit yes, and I wait until the installation is being processed. So the, install so the extension pack is uh, installed successfully. So hit OK. And right now we have our virtual box uh, already ready for the installation of our Linux distribution. I currently have uh, several machines already pre-installed and uh, ready to use in the virtual box. In your case, you will not have any uh, virtual machine right here. Uh, there is no problem. Uh, you, we will create, I will create all together with you uh, the new machine right in the next video. So uh, watch further and we will together install OpenSUSE Linux distribution directly on your machine.